later this year, Shell begins construction of the first floating liquid natural gas, liquefied natural gas platform, which will be, I gather, the largest floating structure ever created, by far, much bigger than the largest aircraft carrier, costing 10 or 12 billion dollars. What makes this worth doing? Well, it's an engineering marvel, first of all, and, and I'm an engineer by background, so uh, so can, can't help being very enthusiastic about it. As you say, it's a it's a huge and amazing structure. I think it's the length of four football fields. When fully weighted and loaded, it weighs, I think, six times as much as the world's biggest aircraft carrier. So it's an engineering marvel and feat. Um, but you pointed at cost, um, and of course, when we look at gas, then. Um, one of the features of the gas business is that there are a lot of significant gas resources that are stranded. You know, given the costs associated with developing uh, gas resource, the need, of course, to transport uh, to markets um, has always made for some dilemmas and has left a number of significant resources stranded. Uh, with the use of floating LNG, which essentially is you can design, develop one and then use many times, you're suddenly changing the economic equation. Um, and opening up significantly a number of these stranded resources that can now be developed uh, economically. Uh, and this is one example because the first uh, application we have aimed at our prelude field off the northwest coast of Australia. Uh, and that was a resource that until this point could not be developed uh, otherwise. And we see a number of other alternatives for that. So um, it wouldn't surprise me if over the coming years we'll be able to develop a number of other alternatives using that kind of technology.